So I just got out of a Lululemon event. Uh, it was from a secondhand store, uh, Style Encore, which is a national chain, I think. Uh, so it was a bit pricier, but I had a uh, store credit. So I wanted to use that up and I know that Lululemon will bring a profit. It so I just got out of the Style Encore um, shopping trip. I had a store credit uh, from a Patagonia event. I had bought a uh, vest, which was cute and it definitely would have sold for a profit. But when I was in the store and had purchased it, I didn't realize that there was a pretty good stain on the inside of the vest. So uh, when I saw that, it kind of looked like blood and I was not wanting to wash that or do anything with that but I hadn't realized until after the one week return period so I ended up getting store credit but I knew that a Lululemon event was coming up so I figured I would just spend it on that so I saved my voucher for then I just went to the Lululemon event and spent a really a pretty substantial amount of money for the products so I'm hoping that they're profitable uh, like I said there is a one week return period so I'm going to look up comps once I get home a little bit better just to make sure that I'm not gonna lose money I am willing to take a smaller profit on Lululemon because I know that it's gonna sell quickly but I also <laughs> want to be reasonable I like I said before I am trying to grow my store and sell things that will kind of bring people to either my eBay store or to the Poshmark closet and once I start to get some more attraction on these more popular items what I'm hoping is that it will also entice buyers to get other items so we'll see how that goes I am now at Goodwill and so I'm going to go in and see what we can find box full of stuff super exciting all right goodwill done i got some clothes a pitcher that i think might be crystal i hope so it might just be glass but it was pretty substantial and pretty so hopefully i could get some profit off of that and a little bathroom set so i'll show you those once we get back um, and now we're off to resource which is one of the places where i get some of my best items so I'm excited about that let's see how it goes that one wasn't too bad I ended up getting a drill set for $15 uh, it had two batteries a charger and the drill so I think parting that out will probably make the most sense for that it was craftsman uh, and then I got um, a Logitech track, uh, Trackman mouse with the ball. So uh, that one was only $4. It should go for around $30. And then I got, what was the last item? Oh, the last item I got was a pair of Lily Pulitzer tumblers. They were brand new. The packaging was pretty beat up, but I think I might either just remove them from the packaging and sell them as open box, or uh, maybe I will sell, uh, look around, see what I can get for them. But those were a great deal. I think those were $3.99 for two tumblers. So I'm excited about that. Next up, we are going to go to the pop-up shop that is underneath Resource, and it is a clothing and shoes, um, linens only, and it's kind of like Goodwill bins. Um, it's really um, unorganized and just boxes full of clothes. So we're gonna dig a little bit and see what we can find.
dishwasher wasn't working at the pop-up shop so I had to walk around to the other side but here we are on our way uh, it cost eight dollars and one cent I think for shoes vineyard vines Abercrombie and Fitch all sorts of great brands so good haul it does take a lot longer to go through bins like that so sometimes I have to wonder if the time spent is worth what I'm getting I think in this case it was I spent like an hour and 15 minutes in there um, and got vineyard vines Abercrombie and Fitch some shoes that looked almost new um, I think if I had spent any more time in there it would not have been worth it uh, but I think especially if you've got a podcast going or a book or I've been listening to Mal Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It's really good so far. So makes it a little bit easier, uh, a little bit more fun. So I am pretty wiped out. I'm going to go home. Um, it is a half hour drive from the stores near me. So I'm going to listen to my audiobook. All right. Now for the fun part, let's do a little haul of the items that I picked up while out thrifting today. So first off we're going to start with all of the Lululemon items that I picked up from Style Encore. They are higher price and so I actually might bring some of them back depending on how well they do with comps um, but let's jump into it. So the first item I have is a Primal Loft coat. Um, this is a long coat and it's very warm, thick, great for winter. I am noticing that coats are starting to sell really well um, in my eBay store. So this I picked up for $65. It is a size large, which fits around a 12 to 14. Um, it's got a nice felted feature that um, has an adjustable strap. And it's really nice. <laughs> love to have this coat myself it's my size <laughs> and it's really nice super comfortable i think i should get around a hundred dollars for this so um this will be one of the more profitable lululemon items that i picked up so this is a good one the next item that i picked up from lululemon is this really nice cream zip up it's that really thick scuba material um, and it looks basically new. There's no pilling on the inside. It's a nice soft fleece. Um, this was, it's a size 10 and it was $40. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not very familiar with Lululemon. I've never actually personally owned it myself. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, but I know a lot of people are. I don't know exactly what style this is, but it's more like a jacket. It's got the logo on the hood, um, and it's a really nice color. I think it's nice and trendy. You've got the tie-dye print on the hoodie, and you've got the thumb holes. So this, I think, depending on what style it is, I'll need to look up comps, but I think for $40, I could probably get around $80 to $100. So if that's the case, then I'll definitely keep this. But if it is more around the $50 range, I think I will probably go ahead and return this. Next up, we've got three of their zip-ups or pullovers of the long sleeve style. I did find that these prices are really close to comps, so I didn't want to go too crazy. I wanted to pick up really casual, easy to wear colors. So this one is a dark gray with the black uh, logo throughout that gives you that nice shape. This one is a full zip jacket with a nice striped lining. Um, this one I picked up for $30. It's in that size medium 8 to 10 range. Um, it does have a hoodie, so I think that this one will sell pretty well. This one I think should go around $45 to $60, so not too much of a profit there, but enough where I feel like it would be a good thing to add to my store to get some attention and maybe bring some people in to bundle with some other items. 
Similarly, we've got this black zip up with the zipper that is off to the side. I think this is really a nice jacket. Super flattering. This one does not have a hood, so I'm not sure that it would go for quite as much, but it is such a classic design and I think a lot of people would really like this for running in the fall or if you're in a, a little bit of a warmer climate. So I'm actually tempted to keep this one myself. This one is a medium 8 to 10 and this was $40. So this one, again, I'm not sure I'm going to make too much profit. We'll probably see this sell around the $45 to $60 range. It should go for a little bit more on Poshmark, so I think that I would try this one on Posh. Or keep it myself. Again, another one that I'm not quite sure about. This is a pullover rather than being a full zip up, so I'm not sure that it is quite as valuable, but it does have some really nice feature for people who like to run outdoors. So it's got a nice little zipper in the back where you can keep your keys. It is a gray color with the black uh, detailing, very slimming, very flattering. It has the quarter zip. And this one is a size small in the four to six range. And I picked this up for $30. Again, I think this should probably go around $45 to $60 if the comps that I'm looking at are correct. I picked up a cream sweater. I thought this would do really well on Poshmark. I'm not so sure about this one. I did pick it up. It is a size small, four to six, and I picked it up for 28, which is a little steep. I think this should probably sell for around $40 on Poshmark. So this is one that I do think I may return. Um, maybe I'll put it up and see how it goes and if it doesn't sell within a week maybe I will return it. Another item that I'm not so sure about uh, just because of the high price, this is the uh, Swifty Tech long sleeve shirt. I did want to pick this one up because it does look like it's in a limited edition pattern. I don't know if you can see here, but it's got a little bit of like a brocade type of pattern within. And this one I picked up, it is a size uh, I believe it's a medium and it was $24. I really think this is a classic piece and with the gray it should be pretty sellable. So I'm going to again put this up, see how it goes, and if it doesn't sell within a week I may think about returning it. The last one here is the same Swifty Tech shirt. This one is a short sleeve in the bubblegum pink pattern. This one I do think will sell for a profit on Poshmark. I don't think eBay is the way to go with this one. I picked it up, it's a size small, four to six, and it was $23. And I think I should be able to sell it on Poshmark for around $45. So this one could be good and profitable. Um, it may just sit a little bit longer because it is that short sleeve. Going in to the store, I kind of had an idea of the prices that I wanted to pay a maximum of, and I didn't find that many of the pants, the leggings, were within that price range where I felt like they could be profitable. It was mostly the zip-ups and the, the tops, um, but I did pick up three pairs of pants. Um, this first one is the uh, Align Cropped. It's in a pretty... Um, hunter green or uh, moss green kind of color and I do think that this is a nice one to have for fall. It is more of that capri cropped style so I do think it would do better to sell in some of the nice uh, the warmer climates um, but this one I picked up in a size 4 and it was $25. I think that again Poshmark may be the way to go but I think I could get around $40 to $50 for this one. I also picked up another cropped pair. This one is black, so I think it'll be a little bit easier to sell just because it's, um, you know, the classic Lululemon black pants. It'll be very flattering, um, and it is a little bit fun. It's got some detailing on the side, so it's got a little bit of lattice work at the bottom, and then throughout it has a little bit of uh, a mesh material. Um, this is a size six and I picked this up for $20. 
Again, I think that this should go around $40 on Poshmark, so a little bit of wiggle room for profit, but if I don't see any attention to it, I may exchange this. The last pair of pants that I picked up was definitely the least profitable item that I'm seeing, um, but my thought was that if these were not profitable, I would probably keep them for myself. They are um, black jogger type of pants with the kind of like wind resistant material. Um, a little bit stretchy, but it is more of a pant that I might want to wear um, in the spring and fall if I am out walking Halley or um, if you like to golf or play tennis in some of the cooler months. This is a size 8 and I picked it up for $30. Uh, I will see if I can sell this. This should go, it looks like it's selling around $40 to $50, so that wouldn't really be a good amount of profit, but if this one does not sell, I will end up keeping it. The last Lululemon item that I picked up is this brown long line bra top. Um, it is a sports bra that is cropped, um, so you could wear it on its own, I think for yoga, this is going to be extremely comfortable. I picked it up because it looks like it's in basically new condition. I don't see any signs of wear um, and I think that with the brown color it's a little bit unique. It's got some gold um, detail here which is nice and pretty. I think this is a great fall color and this I picked up for $22, it is a size large, which is around 12 to 14, and I think that I could sell this for around $35 to $40. Next, I went to Goodwill, and I actually usually prefer Goodwill for home goods, um, just because the clothes are a little bit higher priced for me, um, but I did pick up mostly clothes this time. So, first thing I picked up, was this wool jacket from Gap. Gap is a brand that doesn't sell for too, too much, even though this is a really nice quality jacket. Um, it looks really new, um, not any pilling on the fabric or anything. Uh, it is a size medium, so that's good. Uh, I picked this up for $10, and I think it should go for around $30 to $40. I had my eye on this white vest. Um, I thought it was a nice look, um, and I wasn't sure um, what brand it would be. So I looked, and it's Golf Teeny, which is a women's golf brand. Um, it doesn't look to be too popular, but I thought the style of this was really nice, and so I could see someone buying it for golf or just for casual wear. Um, it's a very thin vest, but I think it would be really good for golf or another sport. Um, and it was only $3. It is a size small, so I thought this was a good uh, buy just for $3. It was worth a shot. This next item I picked up because it looked like it was new with tags. Um, it does just have a button, so the tags are not included, but it is this beautiful romper I think is going to sell really well on Poshmark. Um, it is from the brand Illa Illa uh, in a size small and it's that beautiful millennial pink with the really frilly bottom. It's a romper um, and I think this is just really cute. I could see it selling well. Uh, I picked this up for six dollars and I believe that I'll be able to get around twenty to twenty five dollars for this on Poshmark. I'm not exactly sure how well these ones will do. These are a pair of Nua Tag Adidas women's leggings that I picked up. They are in a size large. Um, it looks like they are probably either cropped or a capri style. Uh, I picked them up for $13. I feel like I paid up a little too much for that. Uh, I think I was <laughs> sold on the Nua Tags. I figured that they would sell better than they do, but Adidas is one of those brands that's really becoming oversaturated, so it is a nice fabric and it does have the stripes on it, which helps. I am going to see what I can do for this. I think I could probably get around $25 to $30, but this uh, 
The leggings from Adidas are really hit or miss, so I'm hoping that these ones are hit. Another item that I've never bought anything like this before, I'm really unsure about, um, it was a pitcher that I believe is crystal. I did a little bit of research on the difference between crystal and glass, and just based on the way it sounds, um, I think it's more of a crystal than it is a glass. Um, it's really uh, sparkly in the, in the light. Um, it looks like someone probably used this to have flowers in, which is a really cute idea. Um, but it is just a, a water pitcher. I picked this up for $3. It's really heavy, so I think that I could probably ask for around $30, um, but I'm definitely going to also ask for uh, the buyer to pay for shipping because I'm very unsure about this item, but I figured at $3, it was worth taking a chance on it. Another item that I feel like I wouldn't normally buy, but it was in such great quality, uh, great condition. Um, this came from Bed Bath & Beyond for $20 for just the soap, um, original price. And together the um, toothbrush holder and the soap were a set uh, that they were selling for $4. So, Another one where I feel like I'm taking a chance, it is a little heavy, so I think what I'll do is I'll probably put this up for $20 and see how well that sells. I will be asking for shipping on this. The next location was Resource, and I only picked up two items there. The first item I got was a Logitech um, Trackman wheel. Um, it's the mouse with the ball. Um, this was $4 and I think it should go for around $30. And anything Lily Pulitzer catches my eye. Uh, it looks like someone bought this at Marshalls for $9.99. Um, and then there's another price on here um, from Lily Pulitzer, $25. Um, it is new in packaging. I picked it up for $3.99, which I thought would be worth it. Um, the packaging is pretty scratched up and dirty looking, so I'm not sure if I want to try to sell this in its packaging or if I would have a better chance of selling if I take it out of the packaging and sell individually as previously owned. Um, but I can't pass up anything Lily Pulitzer. It sells so quickly and so easily. Uh, I always make a great profit off of Lily Pulitzer items. I actually forgot, I also got this Craftsman drill set at Resource as well for $15. It didn't have a price on it, so they uh, kind of came up with that price. I do think I will part this out. Um, it does have, it. it's a little dirty. Um, as you can see here, it includes the drill, um, two batteries, and the battery charger. So I think if I split it up and sell the chargers separately from the drill that I will have a greater profit on this item. So I think that's what I'll do and I'll see how that goes. All right, the last stop that I made was to the resource pop-up shop. And what I love about that is that you do have to do a lot of digging. Like I said, it took around an hour and 15 minutes. So it can be hit or miss. If you are spending your time, you wanna make sure that your time is worth the, the items that you're picking up. So it did take quite a while to go through and find some items, but the total of the whole purchase was $8.01. So each item I bought, um, one, two, three, four, five, six items. Each item was $1.33 each. Let's go through what I picked up. Uh, I'm not doing so well with shoes, so I did want to stay away from shoes this time. Um, I've just had a lot recently that have had more damage than I thought once I got home, um, so I really inspected these because I do not have enough room to store a whole bunch of shoes that I'm not going to make a lot of profit off of. So um, I did pick these up because they look to be in really great condition. Um, they are Clark's Artisan Clogs. Not my style at all, but I think shoes like this sell really well on eBay. Um, they look basically new. 
Um, I'm guessing someone bought them, wore them once or twice, and then decided to um, donate them. They are a size 7, and they're really light, so I might even be able to ship these. Um, if not first class, then they would be pretty light. Um, so I think that I will put these up for around $20. I could not find any information or any comps for this. It is a Nutribullet blender um, cup, but it is uh, stainless steel insulated um, thermal. So it is Nutribullet branding on here. I think this should go pretty well. Um, I'm gonna have to look a little closer to find uh, comps for this because I do think uh, in the past I've picked up Nutribullet and other blender items and they've sold pretty well. So um, I have a Nutribullet myself. I love it. And I could see this being a really great item to use with a smoothie to keep it nice and cool. Um, so I do think that I will put this up probably for around $20, if not more, depending on what I can find from comps. The next item I got is a Wes Welker Patriots jersey. I know at this point that he is not on the Patriots, um, but football gear is so expensive and it looked to be in really great condition. The graphic is not splitting or peeling or anything like that. Um, it is the NFL brand from Reebok and it is a size large. It did look like there were um, shirts still selling for Welker. Um, so I think I should be able to get around $25 for this. Bathing suits do extremely well on my Poshmark, even if they are used, which is mind-boggling to me. I don't think I would ever want to buy a used bathing suit. But I saw this, and it is new with tags. It is the brand Nip Tuck Swim, which I think I've seen before at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, I think it's one of those brands that's supposed to be really flattering, and it is a black bathing suit with a floral print and with some ruching, and then it has a built-in cups. So I think it's a really great quality. It has adjustable straps, so I think this would do really well to sell for people looking for bathing suits uh, for their winter vacations. So even though it's not summer anymore, I do think this is a good buy. Um, because it is new with tags. So I'm going to say I could probably get anywhere from $30 to $40 for this one. I saw this plaid print and it is beautiful fall, winter, Christmas colors. So in my mind, people are looking for those photo shoots with their families. This is from Abercrombie & Fitch, which adds to the value there. It is a size large and like I said everything in this haul uh, from the resource pop-up shop is $1.33 so even though it's not flannel it is just the cotton material it's Abercrombie and Fitch Abercrombie still sells really well and so I do think that I'll probably be able to get around $20-$25 dollars for this shirt the last item is one that I would never have picked up um, typically but I am trying to source more Christmas items because as a lot of other YouTubers are saying and podcasters, it does look like the shipping times and the availability of items for Christmas is going to be a little bit difficult this year. So I am trying to pick up Christmas things. Um, these are actually Vineyard Vines, which is why I bought them. Um, they're a size small, they're just cotton, they're not flannel, so again, I do wish they were a thicker, nicer material, but they are cute. They say ho 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 on them, and they have the Vineyard Vines whales on them. I've only sold one other item from Vineyard Vines. It was a sweatshirt with a quarter zip, but it was beat up, and I still sold it for, I think, $15. So these look to be in basically new condition. I think even though they're not new with tags, I think a lot of people could get away with getting this um, as a Christmas gift and then wrap it with some other items and I think that it will be a great profit considering that it was a total of $1.33. So that was the haul. Here it is. <laughs> All in its glory. Now it's time to get listing. Mm -hmm.